Eva. What a weenie. She is a weenie. She's a chi weenie. I hate it. She's chihuahua and weenie mix. Did you get that? Yeah, I got the blah. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here today with this lady. What's this lady's name? Her name is Eva. <laughs> Say something. Biting. She just went blah, blah. <laughs> I'm here today with uh, my girlfriend, Abelina Sabrina. I just call her Sabrina, but she has two names, I guess. So let's call both of them today. It was the first joke of my life. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't seen any of Sabrina's videos before, please go check out her channel. She does sketch comedy, some music stuff, and some cool political videos as well. So the link is in the description above the fold. I don't know why they call it the fold. We are also uh, caring for Eva for a little while here. So she is in our home. I don't know how she got in here. She flew in through a window and has been pooping and peeing everywhere and has when we will refuse to leave. So continuing the small town reviews series today, I pulled up some public Google reviews from some amusement parks that are located around the more rural, 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 rural off the beaten path parts of the United States, and we're gonna read them off for you today. First review comes from Adrian J, and Adrian J says, one star, horrible, there were bees and wasp. So, just the one wasp? <laughs> There's a bunch of bees, just the one wasp, still a nuisance. There were bees and wasps, so we had to run to the next hole. The games were too few, nothing to cheer about, totally ruined my memory of one of the best family parks to go to. That's a bummer. I wouldn't say they ruin the memory because now it looks like they have a very vivid memory of bees and wasp. That's true. James with a Y. I hate when people take commonly spelled names and have an iteration in it. James is J-A-M-E-S. Anyone that spells it differently, I'm sorry, your parents fucked up. So James with a Y gives one star and he says, your damn sign blinds everyone on the northbound side of the highway headed to Barstow at night. Damn, he's, he didn't even go there. By the way, when I was pulling out reviews for this place, I found like 30 reviews that are like, the damn sign's too bright, you gotta turn the sign down. <laughs> so DB Bravo said, one star. We paid three unlimited pass, but some of the rides were closed. All we did play was the arcade and two rides from the go-kart. Altogether, $100 for for half fun. <laughs> I feel that we got ripoff. We got 59 tickets and redeem it with only one sour candy. That's bull. We deserved half refund since they only have half fun. <laughs> I love that this guy wants half a refund for half the fun. Like he doesn't have like a concrete thing. Like, hey, they stole my money. It's like, well, we had 50% fun. So we should actually have 50% of our money come back, please. Aaron S gives one star. And Aaron says, time different than it tell. No, it's time saying, different than that it tell, please. I'm sorry. Time different than that it tell. It's saying noon to 10 a.m. But at door saying 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. It wasted our trip's drive, plus that lady, blonde hair, and she really, rude exclamation point, D, won't let me to get cup of cold water. They suck employee. <laughs> I don't, I wish I knew what he was trying to say. The, <sighs> the blonde lady wouldn't let him get cold water? I guess, which sounds kind of illegal. Yeah, that's really and, weird. Like most places, you can get like a cup for water. Um, Fuck places that charge for water. I hate it. I used to go to the gas station by my college house, and I'd just be like, "Can I just go fill this cup up with water? It's a hot day." And they'd say, "No, you need to buy something." I said, "Can I get some ice?" Okay, but it's ten cents for ice. Okay, great. I got a good ice guy. That's cheap, baby. So Mayra T, a local guide, said three star family. <laughs> All right, so Harry R says one star. Can't go unwatered wearing chino shorts. <laughs> is this is a it? fashion rule or a safety rule? Buddy Spike. He has the little what in tarnation guy <laughs> I do like as that his <laughs> picture. Okay, Buddy Spike gives one star and says, kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Bro, that's true. I'm not going there. Eva's asleep. Eva, what are your thoughts? Kind of cringe. She's, yeah, that was pretty cringe, Eva. <laughs> All right, this is one of my favorites. Wes L says, one star, dangerous Somalian fight yesterday. Police evacuated unbelievers. 50 Somalians arrested. They ripped down the Halloween decorations. <laughs> What is happening in this review? I think it was pretty clear. There was a Somalian fight, 50 Somalians. I don't know where this is. Why only specifically were Somalians How arrested? How did this person know that all 50 of the supposed individuals arrested were Somalian? I don't know. And this was at a theme park? This is at a theme park, yeah. Nice. I want to do a little follow-up on that. Wes, hit me up. Let's get the deets. So Vanessa gives one star and she says, This place is only for little people. Hey. I was so embarrassed trying to ride a ride there. My 
My breasts were too big. My breasts were too big. I had an Asian worker jumping on me to close the latch. <laughs> yes, it sounds hilarious, but it wasn't. This <clears throat> place needs to expand a few things. Uh, ah, I, I get it. Did there. I would have paid so much money to just be a fly on the wall. I guess a fly on the coaster during this situation. I bet you would have. I would have. I wouldn't have looked at the breasts. I just wanted to look at the jumping Asian worker. I'm keeping a PG here. I'm just saying. All right, so Lisa T says one star. Went to event center. Answered. At 7 p.m. and they closed it at 10 because of fighting. Like 160 kids were running around the park fighting. It is too much. Ruined my family night. Thanks. Okay, so Lisa, <laughs> I'm going to stop you right there. It sounds like something where, where it's like a field trip. And at that point, like... Get out of the park. That's true. Get out. Why, You're not how, safe. I like how specific the number is. Like, there were about 160 kids, and all of them were fighting. I feel like Lisa would have been a terrible chaperone. Lisa's a, a narc. Trip. I'm just going to say it. She was the kid that was like, um, you forgot to get the homework. And, she, and like, um, I know you said only one piece of gum left, but I actually saw that there were six pieces in your pack, so if you could share your stride spearmint, that'd be great. All right, Justin M says, one star, got robbed. <laughs> What? I would like some more context. This is the worst police report ever. That's enough evidence to put someone away. Look, he has a green profile picture. It's Justin M. I trust him. I've seen enough Better Call Saul. I say that's pretty, pretty clear. Yeah. That's clear. We're we're law experts now. We're, we're lawyers. lawyers and lovers. Get it? Jamie f says, "Think I'm gonna die, dude." I I think that too. I can't do certain roller coasters anymore. I I think Jamie's valid. Does he even mean in the park, or is it just like, hey? <laughs> Just need a forum to share this. I think I'm gonna die. Uh, the place was nice. <laughs> At least Jamie spelled his name right That's in true. this one. So, five stars. Five star, baby. All right, so Joshua Z says, one star, metal detectors. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Hey, how'd that gun-free zone in Orlando work out for everyone? Was this guy just trying to take a gun into the theme park? Is he talking about Pulse? Oh, the nightclub thing? Oh my God, maybe. Holy sh fuck this guy, dude. Joshua Z. Well, I mean. Joshua, you kind of fucking hey, suck. Oh, hey, oh, he has a gun, Sabrina. He's cool as heck. Elliot B says, can we even say this word anymore? Karen? I don't think so. Uh, whoa. Censor. Censor. Whoa. Parody. Sorry, I dropped a hard R Karen on <laughs> Can you even say that anymore? All right. Elliot B says one star. Karen's a furry. Gotcha, Karen. Michael D gives two stars and says, censored. Sucks. People of bulk can't ride the rides. They don't find out until they mount, mount the, the ride. ride? <laughs> what the fuck does that Michael? mean? Michael! Yeah, no duh, you can't fit in the ride. You don't mount it. You sit down in the ride. That's gonna get you kicked out of Disneyland like ASAP. You can't mount Mr. Toad and then expect to stay on the ride. Listen, Michael D, you can't mount your toad and ride him too. You get one of the other, all right? <laughs> all right, so Virgil H. writes a review for this amusement park and says, two stars. I personally haven't gone to the fair. I applied for a job across Highway 101. <laughs> he hasn't even gone there. He was just in the vicinity of the park and felt compelled to review it and reviewed it poorly. But he didn't go all the way to one. He did <laughs> two stars because he's fair. I, I never wanted to know more about a guy. Is this where Virgil, Texas has been this whole time? Is he just working his part-time job across the street from a fair? I could see that. Virgil, go on the fair. Go on Virgil, wild go thing. On. <laughs> <laughs> so Mariana gives one star and she says, I injured myself on one of the slides. Not add a single worker asked me why I am bleeding. <laughs> no, that's kind of sad, but like, uh, sad. if you get hurt, like, it's up to you to like, ask for help though. You're not just going to stand around the lifeguard chair and be like, <clears throat> <clears throat> doesn't anyone want to know why I'm bleeding? Eva did not like that one, did you, Eva? That's Eva when she's in heat. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to ever know that. All right, so Lion2x, didn't feel like I needed to censor that one, said, One star. I went there today for the first time with my family and someone pooped in the pool twice. Never again I will be attending this park. It's not the park's fault. Someone took a dunk in the pool. A little literal dunk, I suppose. He took a dookie dunk. What if both the poops were in the water at the same time. That's what I'm curious about. Was this a double tap turd action or was this like two separate incidents? The world needs to know. Satcho says, one star, never been there. All you need to know. Thanks, Satch. <laughs> All right, so Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit says, one star, if you ever get Michelle at the front desk, she is very bad at her job. And I got to ride the indie carts last time and no, she said I can't. 
what? Is this like a six-year-old? So it seems like Jack just has something against Michelle herself. So I, I don't it. think this review is valid anymore. Mm-hmm. Little Diddy about Jack and Michelle. <laughs> Didn't let me ride the indie cars. What the hell? <laughs> Sucking on jelly dog. And last but not least, we got a glowing review from our man, Stuart W. So Stuart Little says, one star. If you enjoy having park employees ask for your underage daughter's phone number, this is the place to go. Okay, first of all, gross. He's advertising for the business. He's saying, if this is the product that you want, go here. I don't, I regret mm. that joke. I would like to formally retract. Can we retract that joke? Stenographer saying no. No? Eva says no. Eva, Eva says no? Hey, yo, should we retract that joke, Eva? Eva spoken. Eva went to the vet today and bit a guy. She didn't bite. <laughs> she she tried to bite. There is a difference. Yeah, okay. That's like saying th- it's there's a big difference between manslaughter and homicide. <laughs> she tried biting a guy. But she didn't. She didn't do it. I will bite her if need be, though. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Small Town Reviews. If you would like to see more of those, again, we've done a handful of them at this point. They're a lot of fun to do. Let us know in the comments. Please go check out Sabrina's channel. It's in the link in the description in the house in the YouTube.com down below. Uh, Eva doesn't have anything going on. We're not whoring her out like a YouTube pet. Eva. She's got a life. Eva, yeah. Eva, do you want to be an influencer? You want to be an e-girl? You want to be a TikTok? Do you have diamonds in your e-chest, Eva? We think Eva might be sick or something because she's been doing Kenneth Copeland throat clears for the last <laughs> week. Any, any parting thoughts? This is going to be our Christmas card. That's our Christmas card? Yeah. I don't ever want to be a Christmas card family. We'll see if humanity makes it to Christmas. I'll make, I'll, I could probably do June. I could make it to June. Thanks for tuning in. Please go watch this advertisement. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me tell you what I was looking for, Sabrina. I can't find the largest selection of audiobooks and audio documentaries and cool theatrical performances anywhere. Where the heck are they? Oh wait, I'm such a stupid, stupid, dumb, just unintelligent, lowbrow idiot. I forgot. You can find that selection on Audible. Audible is the best place that you should go if you want to listen to some audiobooks. Heck, maybe you want to listen to a little audio documentary. Maybe you even want to listen to a comedy series. They got tons of them on Audible. And heck, I know just like you do right now, most of us folks are staying inside and not doing jack squat. So if you're working on a project, maybe you're putting together a little bit of art, art, art piece or something, you know? No, inappropriate, stop it. Maybe you're working on an art piece. Maybe you're working out and you're getting, look at this. Maybe you're doing this. Listen to Audible when you're doing that, dummy. Check out the description down below. If you go to audible.com slash Gus, that's audible.com slash G-U-S, you can sign up today to get all these cool things that are, and they'll be in your, your ears in your house. Heck, you can do yourself a favor even quicker by not even looking at the description. Just pull out your little cellular mobile device right now and text Gus, that's G-U-S to 500-500, and you can sign up today. So thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys for watching my stuff and staying inside and staying safe. So from, from me in here to all you out there, don't come into my house. If you're coming in my house, I'm gonna beat the hell out